everyone. So today I'm going to show you this violin case. It's called a BAM High Tech Slim Violin Case. It's made by the French company BAM and it's um, it's pretty popular. You know, this company is pretty popular uh, here in the States and um, I've purchased this case about two years ago and I use it quite a bit. So yeah, let's get started. So this is the case from the outside. Um, it is a very high-tech design. Um, this is a hard shell case. It's, you know, it's very sturdy. Um, here's the logo of the company. Um, so the case features a subway handle. Uh, there's combination locks. One is right here, and here's the second one. It features very wide, a very large handle, main handle. Um, it's very comfortable, has a little cushion here underneath, so it, it's very nice to, you know, to use. Um, the case also have a two feet right here, and there's one over here. Um, there's also a few feet underneath. You see one in here. There's one, and there's two more. Um, when you purchase this case, you will also receive um, the two straps. They're very comfortable straps, and this is the only way you can actually carry it. it's as a backpack, and you might choose to. You know, use both shoulder and uh, carry it as a backpack, or just um, put it on one shoulder. Um, but the straps are very comfortable, and they sit nicely on the shoulder. Here's a little logo printed on the straps. So this case features sec security um, hook screws, um, which is this part. Um, and even though you see the little plastic protectant around the majority of the part here. Um, this will still scratch the case and I am just not loving it and you can see some scratches right in here um, and they're pretty much happening around all the um, all of the hooks that I have they do scratch the case um, here's another one this is just you know for normal use so you have to expect that with this case um, it will be very easy to scratch um, I know one person who owns this case in a white color and it looks just horrible. Uh, it's all scratched out and it's all dirty and I know one person who owns it in uh, navy color which is in my opinion much better because <laughs> you cannot see so much dirt on it. it. It still does scratch quite a bit so yeah even here around so yeah. Okay so let's take a look at inside. So here's the inside of the case. It is a pretty simple looking case. Um, there's nothing fancy inside. Um, you can hold, um, this case can hold two bows right here. Those are very simple locks. Um, here's a little cushion. All right. Here's the logo. There's nothing in here. And then um, the violin part has uh, very nice suspensions. Here's one, and those are, I think they're called, um, those are like an injected foam. They feel pretty good, they feel pretty comfortable. Violin seems to, um, you know, sitting here very nicely. This case also features um, a Velcro strap, which is pretty strong, so it's really nice. Um, and there's also a removable accessory compartment. Um, there's a zipper. So, yeah. So it is very simple. Um, the case is very light, and um, I would call it, I, I call it my to-go case. And the reason I really purchase is because it's small and it's light, and um, I've been traveling with the symphony quite a lot and I never take my very valuable instrument with me so 
I just figure why not, I will go and get the fun case. <laughs> yeah, so let me show you now this case with the violin inside. Okay, so here's the case with the violin. Um, like you can see, violin sits very nicely on the suspension, so it feels very secure. Um, it feels almost pretty much to the end, there's still a little bit room left here. And um, the scroll is definitely not touching the bottom of the of the case, which is good. So here, how it sits nicely on the um, on the neck suspension here. Yeah, it's very beautiful. And then um, I put one bow in here. So yeah, it's sitting right here. So as you may notice, there is really no room to put your shoulder rest. If you are someone who is using a um, really bulky shoulder rest, you might really have a problem. I've seen people trying to insert shoulder rest right in here, but you know what? This is gonna like ruin your violin. Um, some people put it right here. I hate that idea as well. This, this shoulder rest is like moving and banging against your instrument. So. Um, this is like the biggest no-no of the this case. Why there is no room for shoulder rest. Um, I came with the idea of using this uh, accessory compartment and as a shoulder rest holder. So I put part of your sh on the shoulder rest here and I put another part outside of the compartment. This way, I, I never um, zip this compartment obviously because it's impossible because her shoulder is just sticking out there but I do like to keep it like this because it's not scratching my instrument so there's still enough room to put a rosin underneath and cleaning cloth and I have the mute right here so yeah you can still put all your stuff in here and just keep it like this but there's no room to put the strings in um, so what I do, you can you can probably take them out of the box, so it's going to be a little bit uh, less bulky, but what I came up with, my solution was to actually put them underneath the violin. So I'm not sure if this is the best idea, but it kind of works for me right now, so I keep my strings right there. Um, now, what else you could do, um, you can completely remove this compartment and... Um, you can put your strings right in here and then you might choose to squeeze your shoulder wrist over here as well there we go and the rest of your stuff but I didn't like the fact that everything is just gonna fly around I mean even though when you close the case there's still a little bit room so yeah, I think the best solution is to really kind of use this accessory packet and just keep it uh, unzipped inside. So, yeah, other than that, I think it's a pretty fun case and, um, you know, the only reason I really bought it is because of the travel. It's easy to, you know, to carry and um, put in the overhead compartments and... Um, and like I said, I never carry my very valuable instrument in that case. I just feel like it's not giving me enough protection. Yeah, but I do like I mean, it's a very fun case and I like the color. Um, as far as the outside goes, if you ever consider to buy it, you might, um, you might also check out some covers. Uh, for the cases, Johnson Strings, I know they carry a lot of um, different covers for... Uh, uh, for many um, shapes of the cases so I'm personally not a big fan of it because I don't like to buy a case for my case if you know what I mean um, so I just carry a separate bag and because obviously you notice there's no music packet obviously here so I carry my music separately when I use this case, which is really doesn't bother me. But if you are someone who carries a lot of music, you might consider to, uh, and want to have this case, you might consider buying the the cover. And uh, originally the covers were very very expensive, 
on johnsonstrings.com but um, there is some less uh, um, expensive options as well these days so yeah um, so I hope I covered everything um, and you know th those cases are pretty expensive I think t I checked um, a couple of days ago it was about six hundred dollars price so they are pretty expensive so you know and you may think about it if you consider to buy this as your only one case and as your main case your major case that you're gonna use and just the fact that there's no room for the shoulder rest and you will have to kind of you know figure out how to do it I don't know you might double think about it you may um, if you like the BAM company you may probably choose the rectangular shape um, then you can carry four bows and uh, you will have more room for your shoulder as an accessory so yeah so I hope you found this review helpful and again I have the blog post about this case on my website um, so you may go and visit and read some more there's some there's a lot of details um, as well as the pictures so you might want to go and see and you can also subscribe uh, to my channel and uh, please follow me on the Facebook and Instagram I will leave all the links below and I hope you have a great day bye